Hi everyone! Today we're going to take a look at the best budget drone in the market for this year. First we're going to show you our top 10 best picks, and we'll talk about what you'd look for before buying a budget drone. You can find links to all of the products we've mentioned in this video down in the description below. Let's get started! At the first position of our list, we have DJI Air 2S Drone Quadcopter UAV. DJI New Air 2S and Slash 10 Wired recommends is our top pick because it strikes the best balance between size, weight, image quality, intelligent features, and price. Its camera isn't quite as nice as the Mavic 2 Pros, see below, which has a variable aperture for more flexible shooting in sunny conditions. But adding neutral density filters to the Air 2S can help make up for the lack of aperture control. The Air 2S is light enough to bring on a hike, 1.3 pounds, yet powerful enough to fly even in light winds, and it can stay airborne for half an hour. It features a newly improved collision avoidance system that should keep you out of trouble even when there are some trees around. And the new 1-inch 20-megapixel sensor captures the beauty of the scene in stunning 5K video footage or 20-megapixel still photos. Moving on to the next at number 2 with DJI Mini 2 Ultralight and Foldable Drone. The Mavic Air 2S has great collision avoidance tech, but it's pricey. For a more affordable option, DJI Mini 2 8 10 Wire recommends it is the way to go. It flies better than its larger siblings. The wind gusts that wouldn't phase bigger drones like the Mavic 2 Pro will ground the Mini. The lack of collision avoidance sensors makes it a better choice for more experienced flyers. Despite those caveats, the Mini 2 is still a great entry-level drone. It's fun to fly, shoots 4K video, and packs up smaller than many smartphones. That last bit is key, because the best drone is the one you actually bring with you. At a mere 249 grams, it's easy to take the Mini 2 everywhere you go, and you need to register it with the Federal Aviation Administration. The number 3 position is held by DJI Phantom 4 Pro V2.0. DJI Phantom drones feel like monoliths from another era, and they may well be the company hasn't released a significant update to the Phantom line in nearly four years. Still, if you're a video or drone professional, the Phantom 4 Pro V2 X-Slash 10 Wired recommends it is the drone to get. It's like flying a rock, and I mean that in the best way possible. The Phantom 4 Pro is stable and responsive, it shoots incredible cinema quality footage, and it's practically smart enough to fly without you. It may not generate much buzz these days, but the Phantom remains an excellent choice that won't let you down. Next at number 4 we have Sima X20 Mini Drone. I've been flying drones for 7 years now, and I still get a little nervous every time I fly. If you've invested more than $1,000 in your drone, you'd be crazy not to be a little nervous. One of the best ways to get over that is to practice with a cheap one like my favorite toy drone from Sima. The X20 is sold in a variety of configurations and rebranded by several companies, but it's all the same basic hardware. Don't pay more than $40. Be careful flying indoors, as it can hurt when it hits you. Ask me how I know that. It's a little different to fly compared to the bigger drones. If anything, it's more difficult, but also a lot of fun. The number 5 position is held by Zingo Go Bird. I confess, I first thought the Go Go Bird would be terrible. It looks like a cheap plastic kite with a tiny motor. It is a flapping kite with a tiny motor, but it's also pretty great. It's possibly the most fun you're going to have with a $40 drone. It can be tricky to fly. At first, the controller is small and one-handed, which takes some time to master. But once you get the hang of it, your flapping wannabe bird is surprisingly maneuverable. The biggest downside is the tiny battery, which lasts. The GoGo -Go Bird does come with extra batteries, but changing them is harder than it should be. Still, that's my only real quibble, which is surprising. Even more impressive is how it has held my kids' attention for more than six months now, and that alone makes it well worth the price. The number six position is dominated by Propel Star Wars X-Wing Starfighter. Propel's X-Wing fighter drone is great for Star Wars fans. There are actually a few drones in this line, the X-Wing and the TIE X-1. The best part is that all of them have a battle mode, so you can fly against friends and try to shoot them down. Get hit three times with the IR beam and your drone will auto land. Unfortunately, these have a learning curve. When it comes to flying, a little tap of the control stick goes a long way, and mine had a habit of flying off at an angle immediately on takeoff. Holding a position is also a lost cause, 
But once you master the sensitive controls, these are fun to fly and fight. The prices of these fluctuate a lot. Try not to pay more than $60 for the X-Wing. Moving on to the next and number 7 with Holystone HS270 GPS 2.7K. If you demand crystal clear images combined with smooth and vivid videos, this may be the best camera drawn under $200. The 2.7 HD camera should provide impressive picture quality not only on your final images, but also when on FPV mode with a 5 GHz transmission delivering an interference-free live feed. Being foldable, I'd suggest this would be an ideal quadcopter for those on the move. Furthermore, when you reach your destination, you will welcome the 18-minute flying time. A simple tap of a button on the controller, and this drone will return to home, which it will also do so when losing battery power or signal. Also, the auto hover feature should avoid shaky pictures. Alternatively, it can circle automatically around a fixed point with the area of interest always in the middle of the frame. The number 8 position is held by Holystone H110G. Although this is one of the cheaper drones in this article, it doesn't skimp on features. It's the little brother of the Holystone H110D. So if you don't need Tuke video resolution and want to save some money, this drone could be a nice fit. A 110 degree wide angle lens delivers images at 1008 height. Furthermore, the FPV allows you to be in the pilot seat and control the drone purely through the movements of your smartphone. A modular battery allows you to remove, recharge, and replace the power pack quickly. Although, bear in mind that its 1000 mAh capacity will only provide around 13 minutes of flying time. Beginners may welcome the altitude hold function, which not only provides stability for those crucial shots, but also allows you to initially concentrate on direction, not height. Next at number 9, we have Holy Stone H Stone 120D. If you're planning on using your quadcopter to record your extreme adventures, the Holystone H120 may be one of the best drones under $200 for the outdoor enthusiast. For a feature-packed unit, it's remarkably lightweight at just 7.8 ounces. Furthermore, the drone arrives complete with a bespoke backpack, allowing you to safely transport the machine until you're ready to take off. It comes with two lithium batteries, providing over 36 minutes of flying time, 18 minutes per cell. You can record your experiences with the 1008 app HD camera and switch on the follow me function to allow for hands-free video creation. Alternatively, with a 984 foot control range, you have more than enough range to explore where you are in. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Potenzik Daddy RC drone. Do you demand a long range? If so, this might be the budget drone for you. With a controllable range of 2,624 feet and an FPV of 984 feet, it allows you to complete some extensive exploration, which is impressive for a budget drone. What's more, the 1800 mAh battery provides a flying time of 20 minutes, reassuring you that you'll have enough juice to bring this quadcopter home. If you like something away from the norm, you may welcome the white, curved, and sleek appearance, making this unit stand out against the many black and boxy versions on the market. And if you're a total speed freak, you may like the powerful brushless motors that allow you to cruise at a cool 25 mph. Although, you may need to take things a little slower to appreciate the image quality provided by the 120 degree 1008 FHD camera. That's all for today. We upload budget-friendly product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.